Hello everybody, my name is Moses Toto from Tintena and you're welcome to the first ever segment of Classical Experience. Stay tuned. <music> So most of the times I hear people go like classical music is so boring and I'm like Have you heard this? Or this? Classical music is boring? No! Classical music is never boring. As a matter of fact, it's the most exciting music you can ever rely on. <laughs> I stand corrected, but sure, that's what I think. So, as to everything in life, you have to start from the simplest before you get to the more complex. Imagine starting classical music from this point. <laughs> I don't even understand that kind of music. Basically, you don't have to start from the complex, you have to start from the very simplest one, which you build gradually to get to the complex ones. Imagine starting mathematics from calculus in class 1 or grade 1. <gasps> uh, that would be, be a disaster. So you have to start from the very basic one plus one before you get to the complex ones. Same as classical music. You have to start from the smallest and the simplest before you graduate to the more complex. So, what is classical music? Well, classical music is a genre of music that has been there since the 1500s. Classical music, as in every music, is full of emotions. It ranges throughout all the emotions that a human being can think of. From sad music, Happy music. Exciting music. Basically, anything you can think about that a human being can feel, classical music can dish it out to you. Okay, so what this channel intends to do is to introduce you to the basics of classical music for you to appreciate it and get to be interested in it more to explore. As a singer myself, I would like to emphasize on the vocal part of classical music. And speaking of that, we're talking about opera. So, what is opera? Opera is a form of art in which a composer hires a librettist or collaborates with a librettist. A librettist is someone who writes the words of a play in an opera or the plot in an opera. So the composer collaborates with the librettist which writes down the words and the plot. Then the composer writes the music to the plot and you get opera. It's so simple, right? Yes, so opera is one form of art in which you get everything you can ever imagine from art. Ranging from dance, acting, music, drama, painting, architecture, anything you can think about in the arts, get some in opera. The singer is singing, which is music. The orchestra is also playing, which is music. Then they are acting at the same time, which is drama and acting. Then there are some dresses and costumes, which is... Um, which is also art. Then there is painting, set, stage design, and everything. Ooh. So you can see that opera is one of the best arts you can ever be interested in. 
debate about right. No. Okay, so basically what happens in an opera, the composer decides on whatever character he wants to use depending on the plot the librettist has written. Most of the times what these librettists do is they shorten the plot of the whole novel into a smaller size in which can be acted. Then the composer writes the music according to it. The characters in the plot are assigned specific voice roles. Basically the composer decides on which voice suits a particular role. That's what the composer does and writes the music according to what he feels. Most notable composers are Wagner, Puccini, Verdi, Handel, Mozart and many others. We'll be looking at them in details in the subsequent videos that are to come. Make sure you don't miss any of the videos that come next by subscribing to my YouTube channel Tintena and also like my Facebook page and follow me also on my Facebook page. See you in the next video and make sure you click on that notification button. Bye bye.